Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Santiago Ponzinibbio versus Muslim Salikov. Santiago Ponzinibbio, 29 wins, 7 losses. He's 2-3 and three in his last 5 fights. 37 years old, 6 foot tall with a 73 inch reach. Fighting Muslim Salikov, who's 19-5, and 2-3 and three as well in his last 5 fights. On a 2-fight losing streak, getting flatlined by Randy Brown 5 months ago. And losing a decision against Nicholas Dolby. He's 40 years old, 5'11 with a 70 inch reach. Uh, uh, what is that? Two inches or no, one inch in, in height for Ponzinibbio and a three inch reach advantage for Ponzinibbio. The problem with this matchup is from the outside, I think Ponzinibbio is just way better. On the inside, because I don't trust Ponzinibbio's chin at all, I think Muslim is better. The problem is, is Muslim Salikov doesn't fight great on the inside. He fights better on the outside. A lot of spinning techniques. Um, the problem with that is both of these guys' chins a lot of it is because of age, um, is just kind of gone. You know, Muslim Salikov had a really good run there before. You know, look, I mean, if you look at this a year, under two years ago, take these two, three losses away, he's 18 and two. I mean, it, it, it's crazy to me. You know, he, he beats Francisco Trinaldo three years ago, comes back and fights the leech, gets destroyed in that matchup. You know, comes back, beats Andre Filio, which... I just feel it's not good, so there's that. And then loses two two fights back to back. Randy Brown a little bit on the uh, up and up, but still don't think he's great to be honest. Uh, I haven't seen that performance yet. Guys, kind of on the same trajectory, a, a bit of uh, on their way out. The one thing that I do think about in this fight is five months ago he was flatlined, you know, and he fought Kevin Holland, got molly whooped in that matchup, but he had a year in two months to recover it's much much different than five months ago and i think that's a really really big key in this matchup five months ago getting flatlined and getting destroyed by kevin holland a year and two months ago huge difference i like ponzinibbio in this matchup i think he does a, a lot of good this was a man before his um uh infection his life crisis that kind of happened uh, that he was the dark horse of this division, and then he came back and fought the leech, which is a bit of an issue. Eleven and six. That tells you how good he, he was. Uh, you take these three losses. Actually, you take four losses away. He's two and four in his last six. You you, you take you know the four losses. He's what nine and two, nine and two when he left the U, left the UFC when he was hurt. Um, again, 22 finishes, has been finished by, with punches four times. We've seen him be finished by punches by, uh, before all this. Lorenz Larkin destroyed him in the second round of their matchup back in 2015. Um, lost to Ryan uh, LaFleur, which is a little odd, to be honest. I think he gassed out in that matchup, if I remember that correctly. 29 at that point, which is, again, wild to think about. But beat Strickland, which I thought Strickland won at the time. Um, you know, he's fought some pretty good guys. First guy to finish, Court McGee, uh, destroyed Gunnar Nelson, destroyed Neil Magny, was scheduled to fight uh, Kamaru Usman. Who knows how that fight would have won. This was a very, very good uh, Santiago, uh, um, uh, yeah, Santiago Ponzinibbio, very good uh, fighter here. And then, you know, here's the two fights from Neil Magny, 2018 to 2021. What is that? Two and a half years he was out. And um, they came back and fought the leech and had just hasn't really looked the same. Just hasn't. And if it wasn't for this overhand right against Alex Morono at the back half of the third round, or I guess middle half of the third round, that's another loss. He was losing that fight and he came from behind to win that matchup. So I like Ponzinibbio just because he's had a little bit more time off. But 22 finishes, there's going to be a finish. That is a guaranteed unless they just do nothing in front of each, standing in front of each other. But in 10 years, 11 and 6, 9 and 2 before he came back in 2021. In three years, he's 2 and 4. Um, but again, I just think this matchup is a little bit better for Ponzinibbio simply because of the fact he's had more time off after being finished by Kevin Holland and Muslim Salikov has not. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know your pick, and I'll see you guys on the, on the, on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.